हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संपदा कुलकर्णी वेलकम्स यू इन माय चैनल टेक टॉक्स इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीवर यू द डिटेल्स अबाउट डब्ली लिंक लिस्ट अ टाइप ऑफ लिंक लिस्ट एंड हियर आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ दिस वीडियो सीरीज लाइक इंट्रोडक्शन टू डब्ली लिंक लिस्ट what is doubly linked list that i am going to explain you in this video session before moving to the content i would like to request you to subscribe my channel tech talks and keep the bell ringing now let's see first of all what are the disadvantages of sll they are nothing but singly linked list so the first disadvantage is SLL grows only in forward direction. We have seen, we have gone through the concept of SLL in previous video series, where I have explained you the link list and its first type is SLL and all the operations with the details about SLL and from that you must have to come to know that the SLL. that is singly linked list having a single link and which grows into in forward direction only the second disadvantage is as it grows into in a forward direction only they can traverse easily in forward direction but if i want to traverse the link list in backward direction then it is little bit difficult to traverse it in backward direction as no any reverse link is available with the sll and by taking consideration of all these disadvantages of sll the doubly linked list is came into the picture doubly linked list is nothing but a linked list which comes under link organized linear data structure why they are linear because they grows linearly and why they are under linked organized data structure because the memory is not allotted continuously and the memory is allotted in the link list is nothing but the scattered memory and they are linked with each other and that's why they are called as linked list so let's see what is doubly linked list as the name suggest each node in the list stores three fields the first one is content second one is a pointer or a reference to the next node as of the sll because we have seen that this much information is just same as of the sll but what is difference between sll and dll is the main difference is that here additional reference is available to the previous node as well that's why to references to pointers are available first one is to the next node and the another one is to the previous node as well so double pointers are available that's why the name is given doubly linked list so it stores a pointer or a reference to the next node as well as the previous node and here you can see how the doubly linked list looks like so here you can see that these are nothing but the forward link and these are nothing but the backward link so 10 will store the address of 20 20 will store the address of 30 but 20 will store the address of 10 as well so here you can see that for 20 the address of the next node is also available address of the previous node is also available so as far as doubly linked list is concerned let's see the node structure of the doubly linked list how the node can be designed so here in this node structure you can see that they are partition into 3 so the first one is nothing but the data part that is the information part that can be store the information into the node the second part is nothing but link to the next node or the reference or a pointer to the next node and the third part is nothing but link to the previous node so that's why this is nothing but the node structure of dll where it will hold the address of the next node as well as the address of the previous node in short we'll see how to form the dll so first of all we supposed to create a first node initially both the next field as well as the previous field 
both are null because a single node is there while creation of the nodes this address location the node will get created if you want to add some one more node in my doubly linked list what i have to do i have to create one more node here you can see that the address locations are scattered address location they are not in a continuous form so that's why we supposed to form a link between these two nodes which will form a chain of the node now let's see how to form a link as of singly linked list same thing we will form a forward link that is the address of the next node we will store into the next field and fortunately it forms the link from current node to the next node and in the same way this previous field of the next node will get replaced with the address of a previous node here you can see that the 65530 is the address of previous node and it means that it is forming a link between these two nodes so a logical link helps us to attach the two nodes in the link list and it is forming a chain of the nodes if i want to add one more element the same i think i will do 65630 is the address of my current node and this null part will get updated with the address of the next node and in the same way it forms a link and here for the newly created node the previous will will get updated with the address of the previous node and it forms a link between these two nodes so in this way i can traverse this doubly linked list in forward direction as well as in reverse direction because now i am having a reverse address or the address of a previous node as well so it overcomes the disadvantage of singly linked list and as it traverse in both the direction it grows into both the direction so that's why this is called as doubly linked list so thank you dear friends for listening and watching this video if you like the content and the video please do not forget to give the comment here i am providing you a shortcut link for a next video of this video series that is nothing but the operations that can be performed on a doubly linked list along with the whole playlist also i am going to provide you and if you have not subscribed my channel please do subscribe my channel here i am providing you a subscription link for the same so thank you for listening and watching this video happy data structuring happy learning thank you